DC United taking the field at home in the 97 MLS Cup Final facing the Colorado Rapids. Marco Echeverri and Jaime Moreno looking to establish DC United as the first dynasty of Major League Soccer. 30 seconds into the match, DC gets their first chance. Echeverri into the attacking third, picks out Tony San on the back post, but the volley is well over. Eighth minute, Echeverri again with space in the attacking third to Richie Williams, the shortest man on the field, flicks the header on target, but Marcus Hanneman makes the save. Tons of possession for DC United, but still an excellent chance for the Rapids. In the 14th minute, the free kick is deflected to the end line. Paul Bravo crosses to Steve Trichu open in front. His header is right at Scott Garlick. What a chance for Colorado. Maybe that was a wake-up call for United as DC surged forward from that point. Echeverry, another dangerous cross into the box. Richie Williams wins back to clearance, weaving into the box with Tony Santa, and the ball is knocked out for a corner. Ten minutes later, Santa sends the ball through to Moreno. Onside, he gets around the keeper. Williams is there, but he can't pull the trigger. DC inching closer to the first goal of the match. 37th minute, finally the breakthrough for United. David Rodriel flicks it for Tony Santa. Santa accelerating the attack in third, crosses. Raul Diaz Arce dummies it for Jaime Moreno. Moreno waits, shoots, and beats Hanem. And DC United goes in front. As always, Jaime Moreno cool under pressure. An excellent finish. The attacking play finally rewarded for DC, and they had the lead at halftime. Second half, the Rapids looking to strike quickly. David Patino pounces on the loose ball, but his blast from close range is blocked by his own teammate, Steve Rammel. DC dodges a bullet in the 53rd minute. 66th minute, look at the pass from Marco Echeverri, perfectly in stride to Diaz Arce, but his shot for the near post is off target. DC still looking for the all-important second goal. Finally, in the 68th minute, they get it. On their 10th corner of the match, Echeverry sends it into the mixer. It's cleared away, but only as far as Richie Williams. Then John Harks sends a cross to the back post, and it's headed home by Tony Sane. 2-0 for DC United. Tony Sane becomes the first player in MLS history to score in back-to-back -back MLS Cup Finals. Colorado going for broke, down by two. Marcelo Balboa with a bicycle kick attempt, saved by Garlic. It would have been a fitting play if Balboa could have scored on a bicycle. Perhaps it's more fitting that it was a near miss. 75th minute, good interplay from the Rapids. David Patino with the nice flick. Adrian Paz smashes the ball past Garlic, an absolute golazo. Garlic had no chance, and the Rapids have a chance, down only 2-1 with 15 minutes to go. 81st minute, DC trying to get the two-goal lead back. Sané for Moreno into the box. He gets crushed by Trichu. Brian Hall says play on. How in the world is that not a penalty? Trichu is nowhere near the ball, but no penalty for United. Incredible. DC United managed to keep possession for most of the final minutes, and as the clock hits zero, remember the MLS clock counted down in those days, DC United becomes back-to-back -back champions of Major League Soccer. But on a soapy, chilly day at home, the champions have repeated. For his opening goal and his play throughout the 90 minutes, Jaime Moreno was named the MLS Cup Most Valuable Player. To this day, the Cup Final in 1997 marks the only time in MLS history that a team has won the championship match in their home stadium. The most amazing aspect of that match wasn't the players or the goals or the game, it was the fans on a cold and rainy Sunday afternoon with the Washington Redskins playing across town in a brand new stadium. Over 57,000 fans poured into RFK Stadium to prove without a doubt why DC United fans are undeniably the best in Major League Soccer. There's one more way for the fans in DC to represent, and that is by coming out in huge numbers for the last match Jaime Moreno will ever play with DC United. If you were at the 1997 MLS Cup Final, you need to be there on October 23rd. There's no better way to say one final thank you than by packing RFK Stadium. <laughs>